Good morning or afternoon. Um, I hope that you enjoyed designing your maps yesterday. We're going to use those maps today, so see if you can find yours from yesterday. Now today we're going to have a go at thinking about how we can direct ourselves through our map. And we're going to have a go at writing a set of instructions. So here is my map from yesterday. Now what I've done is I've made squares on my path and I've added it to my key so you can see there I've actually changed my key to match my map. Now what I've done today to help me with my directions and my instructions is I have made myself a little arrow out of blue tack. And you can see if I put my arrow onto my map it will show me which direction I'm going in. So if I'm going forwards, I'll go that way, and it's pointing in the direction that I want it to go. So if I want to turn it, I need to turn my arrow so that it stays in the right position. So here is challenge one. I've got my arrow ready to go. I have done the date, I have done the title, and I've got my first instruction, which is number one. Now I have decided that I need to go forwards four squares. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So my first instruction, move forwards four squares, full stop. Now, when we're thinking about instructions of directions, we also need to think about how we can tell somebody which way they need to turn. And a simple way of doing that is by saying left or right. For my second instruction, I'm going to use left or right. Turning left would turn me this way, turning right would turn me this way. So I need to turn right and move forward four squares. One, two, three, four. So that is challenge one. See if you can complete some instructions using right and left and those bossy verbs like move or turn, which tell us what we need to do. If you're ready for a super challenge, keep watching and I will show you how you can turn quarter, half, three quarters or a full turn, clockwise or anti-clockwise. So what I've done to help me is I have drawn an X marks the spot to show where I am. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my arrow on that X. Now what you can see is that I have split this into quarters and that helps me to decide how far I want to turn. So if I want to turn right by one quarter, this is what I will do. Can you see I have turned one quarter? To the right. Now if I wanted to do a half turn to the right, I would need to turn my arrow all the way round to halfway. And now I can see it's facing that way. The next turn I might want to do is three quarters. That would mean I'd have to go all the way round, past one quarter, past the half, and up to three quarters. And the final one I could do is if I wanted to do a full turn. The last thing for a bit of a super challenge today is if you could try and use the words clockwise or anti-clockwise. If you're not confident, that's okay, you can use left or right. If you want to say clockwise, that is the same way as going right. So if I want my arrow to turn 
a quarter turn clockwise, it will go this way. But if I want my arrow to turn anti-clockwise, I might say turn one quarter anti-clockwise and it would go this way. Now don't forget this is for the super challenge so if you're finding that a bit tricky don't worry just try your best. So I've chosen to do mine in different colours so that it's really clear. Now I'm ready to have a go at starting my instructions. So I'm going to put my arrow on the starting position and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to see how many squares forward does it need to go to get up to here. So that is one, two, three, four. So my first instruction is go forwards four squares. One, two, three, four. Now I need to turn my arrow. Now if I look here, I want to turn it right. I want it to go this way, which is right. Or you can say that is clockwise. It goes round in the same way as the clock. Now I wonder if you can see whether I want it to do a quarter turn, a half turn, or a three quarters turn. If I'm not sure, I can move my arrow onto my grid. And I can see, I want it to face this way. So if I turn my arrow the way I want it to face, I can see I have turned it one quarter clockwise or right. So my second instruction is turn one quarter clockwise. Now I'm facing forwards, so I can see how many squares I need to go forwards. One, two, three, four. So my third instruction is go forwards four squares. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I'm ready to have a go at writing my instructions. I have done the date, I've done the title, and my first instruction that I have got is move forwards four squares. One, two, three, four. Now my second instruction says, turn clockwise, which is towards the right, by one quarter, which is just this much, and move forward four squares. So turn clockwise by one quarter, and move forward four squares. One, two, three, four. Now, what you might find is that now that your arrow is facing this way, you might actually need to turn your grid so that it's facing the same way as your arrow. So now you can see which way you need to turn, whether you need to turn clockwise or anti-clockwise. Now I can see, even though it's sideways, I can see that my arrow needs to turn anti-clockwise so that it is going up towards this. So I know my next instruction is turn anti-clockwise or left by a quarter turn and move forward one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine squares. And now I have reached my first mythical creature. It's up to you what you want to do when that happens. It might be a good idea to have a practice with your instructions before you start writing them down. These instructions can be really tricky. You can even have a go at making one of these and directing yourself around your house. Don't forget, if you're finding this too tricky, you can go back in the video and remind yourself about what challenge one is and how you can do that. Good luck, everyone.